Hello everyone, this is Ben with ERP Connect Consulting and in this video we're going to walk you through our advanced CRM tool that's directly embedded into Business Central. Now, as we get started, we're actually going to break this up into multiple different sections just because of all the functionality that occurs within a typical CRM. So what we're going to focus on today is actually the relationship management aspect. So we're going to dive very deep into leads, opportunities, customers, and all of their contact cards, how we've enhanced them what you can do with these contact cards in our CRM tool that's directly embedded into Business Central and how you can log activities within our tool. Now, the goal really for our advanced CRM tool is to give those clients in the SMB market a seamless application that works in Business Central, right? So no integration needed to third-party tools and really takes the current functionality and enhances it both with functionality standpoints dashboards, visibility, and just really making your life easier as a sales organization for your salespeople, right? So we've taken a lot of the functionality that exists in other CRMs and kind of pre-packaged it, directly baked it into Business Central, and have tried to give you about 90% of what most people ask for, for a tenth of the price. So with that, we're gonna jump right into our advanced CRM tool with the relationship management aspect. So like I said, leads, opportunities, and customers. What we've done is built a pre-built flow that lets you book leads as they come in, then convert them to opportunities, and then once an opportunity is ready to be converted, you can create and integrate directly to the customer card with a click of a button. So let's jump right into it with our leads. I'm on the homepage right now, which we will get to in a future session, but I'm gonna jump right into the leads here. If I type in leads, you can see lead contacts CRM. That's indicating that this is part of our solution. So lead contacts CRM. And now this is a list of all of the leads that we have in our system. So you can see quickly all the different lead contacts over here, a contact timeline with what's happened with this lead, which we'll get into here in a second. And then you can see the name, the company name, the contact, the job title, their interest level, which you can set. Um, I have it set so that when a lead comes in, it's low. When it's converted to an opportunity, it changes to medium. And when uh, you can change that to high, and then obviously at a customer, it's going to be high because you've now converted it. We've got categories, we've got contract values, close dates, phone numbers, emails, salesperson, and then some profile questionnaire bits that we'll get into as well. So with this, I've already created one, but if you wanted to create a new one, you just come up here and click new for the sake of time. I created a test one for today. I'm going to go right into it and it's gonna be this test company contact three. So when I'm in this lead contact card, you can see a handful of things and we'll go through them very quickly. You can put a name and a name too. You can put the salesperson. You can put a primary contact, which I'm going to click into real quick. On the primary contact, you're going to have some of the same fields. What's the name, job title, some address, some phone, some email information. You're going to have a person timeline. We'll also have a contact timeline for the company on the previous page. And then you have your first profile questionnaire. So we have one for the person and one for the company. So at the person level, I can just quickly profile this contact and say, okay, are they a decision maker? Yes or no. Do they have any hobbies that we can talk about on future calls? Hey, how was your golf game? How was your ski trip, snowboarding, whatever you have there? And then what level are they at the company? So again, this is purely user defined. These are just things that we potentially track in our demo system. So maybe they're a C-level executive or maybe they're the executive at uh, an end user in our case, right? So now I've put a little bit of profile questionnaire information behind there so that when I come in here next time, I can quickly remember uh, or take a look at the person and see the different things that they're interested in. Again, 100% user defined there. You define the questions, you define the answers that you want to track. Now, we're going to show this timeline at a company level when I go back, but if you were to send emails or make phone calls or anything like that up here in the process bar, so you can make a phone call to this contact, send a lead email, things like that, it's going to book it directly here in this contact activities in descending order, right? It's going to tell you what happened, who did it, when, and what time. So we'll go do a real life example of that in the uh, actual card for the company, but did want to show you that that is possible on the person as well. So I'm going to close this and come back to the rest of these company contact cards. Interest level, I already indicated that. That's going to default as low. Estimated contract value, close date, what the category is. So I put them on a trial in this case, but you can again have user-defined categories, um, any ICS codes if you want, and then address and contact information for this specific lead. Now that's going to be all the predefined stuff that we typically see that we want to track on a contact. Now this middle kind of section down here is a free form box that you can, it's rich HTML, so you can put whatever you want in here. I'm just going to do this as a test note for our demo. 
You could put pictures in there, whatever you want. Again, it's just a hundred percent free form. Then up here is going to be that timeline that we talked about. So we'll populate that in a second. As we continue to come down to this brand new lead, again, we've got another profile. This is going to be for the actual company overall. So in this case, okay, what lead type are they? Maybe they are a BC support client. Uh, come down here a little bit further. What industry are they in? Uh, maybe they're in software. What products are they interested in? You know, if this is me selling to somebody, maybe they're in interested in financial sales and history and statistics. And then finally, uh, how many customers do they have? Maybe they have 51 to 100. Again, totally user defined and you can track whatever you want there. Next thing is going to be a checklist. So this is set up in the overall CRM setup. And this is just a checklist as you flow through the lead opportunity to customer relationship. So you can say, has this been completed for leads? And then you can also require it so that they cannot go to the next step until this checklist has been completed. So maybe I've sent, I probably at a lead level would not have sent any of these yet. So we'll wait for the opportunity. But again, just a quick checklist to see where you're at in the life cycle for this lead, this opportunity, or the customer as an example. So we'll get into that here in a second. And then the final thing is the attached documents. These are going to be one-off documents that you attach to the lead at the time of creating the lead. And then the standard documents, these are the documents that are always going to be added anytime a new lead's created. So we're going to send an email real quick and you'll see how this standard document works. Before we do that, just want to show the fact box over here. Lead statistics shows you how many people are uh, attached to this lead, how many emails we have zero. It's about to be one, how many calls, tasks, all that kind of stuff that we'll get into in a future session. But again, keep in mind that this is kind of your one-stop shop for everything that's related to this lead. If you need to add more people to it, go ahead and add people. Uh, if you need to schedule a task, go ahead and schedule a task, make a phone call, send an email, uh, log a meeting, log an email. So we're going to send an email real quick, straight out of business central. Now we set them up as a free trial. So I'm going to come up here and click free trial, click. Okay. Now what this is going to do sending from current user who it's sending to, and I put my email on the demo here automatically puts the subject in congratulations on downloading and it puts that attachment in here so as easy as this i can send this off to this lead and now you'll see our first activity in descending order here uh, that we've created so originally we created the contact and now we sent them an email that's timestamped. that's dated tells you who sent it then it sends that exact email if i take the email i got let's take a look at this you can see that congratulations, you've taken the first step, blah, blah, blah. All right, download the attachment. Okay, bring that over here. Boom. So with a click of a button, we just sent a brand new lead without doing much leg work at all here. Uh, this full two pager for what we wanted to send them for the lead. And we sent them off this, this brand new email and it logs it here. So again, as we do that, you can do that with phone calls, emails, you can log an email, maybe if you sent one externally out of the system, you could just log that here and say, we sent an email today on our products, right? And even something like that is going to save directly in that timeline. So even things out of the system, you can still record those here. You could even copy and paste the whole email. Since it is rich, rich text HTML, you could copy and paste that directly in that timeline. So let's say you've sent that email, they come back and they say, okay, Ben, we want to uh, look at this further. We want to demo whatever it is in your case that would qualify them as an opportunity. At that point, you can just come up here and click make an opportunity. Now, when I click this, it's actually going to say, please enter an estimated contract value for that opportunity. Now you'll see the estimated contract value is zero. What I have set up here is a requirement that I want to have an estimated contract value. Otherwise, to me, they're not an opportunity. If I can't quantify how much money we're going to make, uh, to me, that's not an opportunity. That's still a lead because we're not really sure on what they want. So let's do this. Let's do $1,000. And let's say it's going to close towards the end of the month. Now I can go ahead and make that an opportunity. Leads been made to an opportunity. Fantastic. Moves it out of my leads. And Let's see if I have that saved. Perfect. I've got opportunity contacts up here <clears throat> and I'm going to look at my test again. And that was test three. Boom. It's in my opportunities now. And you'll notice that everything flowed over, right? So I've got all my information, my uh, street address, all that stuff. And then that full timeline that we just sent off. So the email, the email, and then a new, uh, a new timeline activity here, just saying, Hey, that lead was made into an opportunity. So again, tracking all of that for you. 
those notes are still down here, uh, that questionnaire is still down here, and we have that checklist as well as the documents. So nothing new there from what we saw on the lead. Again, just kind of enabling that flow so you can go from lead to opportunity, then opportunity to customer here in a second. But we've got the people, how many emails have been sent, and all that fun stuff, right? So let's look at the checklist. Maybe at this time, now we have an opportunity, right? Maybe now we've sent the agreement, uh, they've signed the uh, statement of work, and we've sent the onboarding, um, something like that, right? And again, we can require that in order to make this a customer, you have to have these filled out. I don't have them here in this instance, but you could, right? So let's say they've done these three things uh, and they've signed the form, right? At this point now, they are ready to be created and they're ready to be a customer. But maybe you had another phone call, maybe you had another email, anything like that. You can do that all here. Maybe you call them uh, or you had an in-person meeting, um, had lunch, with Grant at XYZ, whatever it might be, save it. Okay, boom, booked a meeting. Again, that's just showing that uh, activity logging. You can do emails, we can do calls, we can meet directly with them. Maybe we have lunch, maybe we go to their office, whatever that might be. Again, really looking for that overall CRM flow from the day they maybe are a, a cold lead all the way to the day that they become a customer. And then even when they're a customer to see uh, that information about them so that we can keep in contact from a customer success standpoint. So at this point, we're ready to create this customer, right? We've added the people, we've done all that fun stuff, uh, nothing else really to show here on the basic card flow. And I can just go ahead and make a customer. Click yes. It's using out of box BC function saying, hey, what template do you wanna use? I'm just gonna use this first one. Do you wanna continue? Yes, opportunity, been made into a customer. It's removing it from that opportunity list. And if I go into my customers and scroll down to the bottom, test company contact three is the one we just created. And we'll notice everything that came over, right? New customer number assigned from uh, what the next number was here in business central, the name, the salesperson, the address information, um, and then everything else came from that uh, customer template that I chose at the time of conversion, right? So my posting groups and all that kind of stuff, right? Salespeople probably don't really care about that, but it's going to be in the template. So it will just automatically populate for them. Now, if I come up to process and hit contact, really looking at the full life cycle here, we'll see that that contact is still linked to that customer contact and all of the information I've ever done for this until they came up to be a customer gets logged right here, right? So that first email from the trial all the way to converting them to an opportunity, uh, having lunch with Grant, and then turning them into a customer. So again, this is part one of a multi-part series on CRM. The main goal of today was to show how that basic relationship management works, right? They come in, they're a lead, they get a little bit warmer, they turn into an opportunity, we start to assign some more checklists some profile questionnaires, really some deep information about tracking uh, that life cycle, and then eventually turning them into the customer, right? So all of that has been enabled and enhanced by our advanced CRM tool that sits directly in Business Central. It enhances that contact card, again, one-stop shop to see everything, including the profile and the timeline of activity, as well as that enhanced activity logging that allows you to both send emails directly out of the system, log external emails, call people, book meetings, put free form notes, all of the above, right? So thanks for joining for part one. We hope that you explore our additional pieces of CRM, which include some salesperson productivity tools. So we have a lot of role center enhancements, dashboarding, checklist, uh, creation tracking type things that all flow through to dashboardy type views to increase salesperson productivity and task management. We have additional emailing and marketing tools in addition to just the simple basic send email that we showed today. And then we also have uh, quoting and order creation. So the ability to go one step deeper into what we did today and actually create quotes and estimates and orders off of the uh, opportunity or lead card uh, without actually having them be a customer yet. And then ad just additional miscellaneous automation tools and additional features and functions that we'd love to share with you. So thanks for joining part one of our CRM series, and we hope that you join us for future sessions. Thanks, everybody.